video uh, I'm going to be talking about um, this basically uh, it's a fender pinwheel or the pinwheel uh, what does it do uh, well basically it emulates uh, a Leslie cabinet uh, or sort of rotor vibe type sounds if you're a, if you're a guitarist um, now if you've seen some of my videos before You'll know I'm, I'm, I'm very keen on the uh, Electroharmonic C9 pedal. It's got some very usable sounds. Um, but there's been something missing from it. Something quite integral to the Hammond sound. And that's the, that's the Leslie cabinet. Um, now what's a Leslie cabinet? Uh, I mean, you, you probably heard on record. You, you probably heard it, but you haven't actually been aware of, of what it does. Um, well, basically, like the Leslie's, uh, it was a cabinet with like rotating speakers. Uh, so one speaker would be set so it's constantly revolving at a certain speed, and then you'd press a button, i.e., a foot switch or a, a knee switch, depending on where it was mounted, and then the speak, a second speaker would come in and speed up um, or slow down. Um, but it's a really, it's a really dramatic effect. Um, as I'll, I'll demonstrate. I'll just put it back on again. Uh, so, say you just play a, like a, like a chord. That's speeding up. And it's slowing down. So you've, um, you've probably heard that before. Um, but there's other things about it as well. Um, that there's like an overdrive setting on it because um, these things were they were powered speakers, but they were valve powered or tube powered. If you if you're not British, we call them valves. Um, I think it's uh, I'm not sure who who else it is in the world, but they they call them uh, vacuum tubes. Um, but so there's a certain there's a certain sort of overdrive which is produced, uh, and it may, it sort of warms the sound up. Um, now before I uh, before I actually continue any further, I, I mean I, also, I want to also say that, that there are a few other um, there are a few, few other Leslie emulators on the market. Uh, now Electroharmonics they do too. They do a is it Leicester G and a Leicester K, um, and Strymon do one as well. Um, that's the called the Lex, I think, uh, and uh, Boss Roland they do one. That's called the RS20. Um, and Leslie themselves, I mean, they actually did one years ago, but they're, they're quite hard to come by now, where it's just, you know, like a compact pedal. But I got the Fender one, because um, it seems to be closest to the sound I was after, and, of course, it's it's compact enough to fit on a, a pedal board. Uh, now, I mean, I've got it on the floor at the moment, um, but to all intents and purposes they are very similar and I think it's worth trying a few out anyway just just to see how you go on uh, but I like this one I thought it works very well with with the sounds I want um, now I'm just going to turn it off for a moment okay right so we're on setting one which is the uh, the tone wheel setting <laughs> Um, that to me that's quite a good sort of approximation to a, a Leslie sound. Um, you put the pinwheel on though, however. <laughs> and then it suddenly it's um, it's a lot closer to that, that classic sound. So that 
sort of wanted to show you the pale type uh, thing. <laughs> Okay, so that's the um, that's with the tone wheel setting. The second setting is called prog, and now without the pinwheel in, it kind of sounds. So it's a, got a bit more grunt to it that that um, that patch. But when you put the uh, when you put the pinwheel in. And so on and so on. Um, I also find in that the third setting, which is called uh, compact. Uh, now without that's. Uh, that's just the uh, that's the C9 on its own. So without the without the pinwheel in, that's what that sounds. Like. With the pinwheel in, range of sounds and I just think um, you know suddenly it's sort of like I'm Keith Emerson I'm I'm John Lord I'm Don Airy I'm uh, I'm Rick Wakeman I'm Tony Carey I'm uh, I'm any one of those uh, great keyboard players that quite often get overlooked you know um, and it's just uh, it, it just adds something sort of unique you know um, and um, Sort of, it also makes you want to push your technique um, a lot more, you know, because I'm, I'm having to combine, you know, not just like electric guitar techniques, but sort of ideas from classical guitar. Um, sort of started listening to more um, sort of like bark, sort of organ music, or um, or digging out some old Emerson, Lake and Palmer records, or. Um, or some early Deep Purple, or um, you know, like the early Rainbow stuff, all that kind of thing. Um, and suddenly, I've you know, suddenly I've, I've just just opened this whole new uh, avenue um, for myself. Um, now, one of my earlier videos, I think it was about a year ago, I did um, the music from uh, World in Action, 
which was um, a British uh, journalist, um, a, a British current, current affairs uh, type program. Um, but the music in that, uh, I mean, I've been trying to nail the sound. I mean, I, I did a video about how to play it, uh, and I recently had a go at another try on, on, on the rig I had, but I didn't have the, the pinwheel at the time. Um, so on that third setting, that compact setting, with, with the pinwheel in, sort of slightly overdriven, then uh, you kind of get... some news to you uh, please consider subscribing uh, leave any comments below I'll speak to you soon thanks so much <laughs>